Hey, it's Mike Hayden from IntelliWolf, and today we're going to be talking about how to change the responsive column widths in Elementor. So I've got an Elementor screen set up here. So we're going to start by just doing two columns, just because it's easiest, and so that it's easier to see what's going on in there, I'm going to add in an image on each of them, just with default settings. And let's add this one here. So, what do I mean by responsive widths? So if we look in responsive mode here, so right now they're side by side. If we switch to responsive mode, they're underneath each other uh, in mobile. On tablet, they're side by side. So what we want for this is for these two images to be side by side. So the way that you do that, I'll just head back to the standard desktop mode. Come over here. Uh, if you can see, if you hover, there's a, there's a column thing there, column icon. Right click that, hit edit, edit column. Uh, and then on the very first part, you see column width percentage. Uh, you need to click this tiny little button here. Let's see if I can make that bigger. You need to click this one here. And then over on the mobile, so we click this one, uh, the last one, the mobile phone one, and we'll set that to 50%. Now that changes this one to 50%. So if we take it away, 100%, 50%. And then you do the same thing uh, for the other image. Right click that, edit column, 50. And now they're side by side. So we update that. And let's zoom back out again so you can see. So if we change that to desktop mode, you'll see the images side by side as expected. Tablet mode, we've got them one underneath each other. We can change that in a sec. But then on mobile, they're next to each other. So if we jump into tablet mode, zoom in, 50% for this one, and 50% for the first one, hit update, and let's zoom back out. So let's let's actually have a look at it on a non-elemental browser. So we've got them side by side as expected. If we go inspect element, so I did right click expect element, inspect element, and then on the left hand side you've got this toggle element, so then you can choose uh, between different sizes, We've got the iPhone 10, the iPad looking thing here. Uh, you can try with different different size phones and tablets and stuff, or you can just go responsive and look at different sizes. So up the top you've got the, the different widths, and as you see, it performs as we expect it to. So that's good for two columns. But what I really like this for is actually three column layouts. So give me a sec to reset. You, whoop. you like the sound effects? No, nah, me neither. All right, so let's go three columns. All right. And let's bring in images so that we can see what they are, what we're trying to achieve with these. So we've got, And the last image in there. So let's update that. Now when we view on different sizes, they are going to be one underneath each other, which is not really what I want. And on tablet, I don't really like it like this. I want to have the woman be full size on tablet and then these two half size underneath that. So the way that we do that, let's actually leave it at tablet size. So right click, edit column, and then on, zoom in. So we're on the tablet mode for the woman. We're going to put her at 100%. Okay, so that we can see what we're doing. Right click on the first one, and that's going to be 50%, and then 50% for the other one. Update that. Zoom out so we can see it. Oh, I don't know what's going on with the zoom. So this is how I wanted it with this one. Now, you know, the lining uh, <laughs> lining up might be not quite right with these specific images, but you get the general idea. So then on desktop, 
we're going to have all three next to each other like so and tablet you're going to have it like this and you know you can play around with the different settings to make it look the way that you want uh, but that is how you change the responsive column widths in Elementor. See you in the next tutorial.